Here are 15 things I wish I knew before playing Valheim on console. Number 15. You start out with 25 health. This can only be increased with eating 3 types of food. Just make sure these slots are full all of the time and you will always enjoy the benefits of having more health. For example, cook boar meat, eat strawberries and enjoy some wild mushrooms. Healing only works, except for healing potions, when you've eaten. And it's being multiplied by resting, so don't shy away from retreating and resting by a campfire to regen some health. Number 14. You can pick up these branches off the ground to have some wood early game. You can punch these small trees too. Then just pick up some stone off the ground at first and you'll be able to make your first tool. After that, get to the shore and pick up some flint. From there you'll be able to make a good start and unlock essential gear. Number 13. Once you've acquired the hammer you can start to build stuff. If you've ever want to redo certain pieces or just move them, destroying them with the hammer using the LB or L1 button will refund all resources spent, so don't hesitate. Number 12. If you want to explore caves early game, just make a bunch of torches and smash the skeletons with those. They are pretty effective and you can see a lot more with them. Also, just close doors if you've taken too much hits and run away. If you've fully explored the cave, just throw down a workbench and cross them off like this. So you don't have to double check. Number 11. LB plus up or down is zooming in on your screen. If you've accidentally turned off automatic pickup, press the left trigger and LB button to turn it on again. And also you can use your forsaken power by using the left and the right stick all at once. Number 10. Sometimes you're too exposed for sleeping, or building for that matter, with the workbench. Because that needs a roof too. You don't have to build a whole house, just a simple setup works. Take a look at the wind direction and build a few pieces against the wind. That works most of the time. Number 9. When you're on a boat, the controls can be quite hard to figure out. So on console, turn your left stick from left to right to steer, so don't roll it. Just push it left or right basically. The speed is decided by which mode you have it on. You can pedal where you don't need the wind direction, which is basically one tap upwards on the left stick, and you will see one arrow upwards when you do that. Same goes for backing up. One tap down, you will see the arrow going downwards. But if you want to go fast, you will need to check the wind direction on the minimap and decide or find out whether or not you can use the wind at that time. The sail will adjust, but some wind directions are useless for your route. Tap upwards again, twice, to enjoy the maximum speed. You will see three arrows upwards. Number 8. Trolls are way too hard to beat fairly early game. So just lure them and shoot arrows until they die. Once they do, make some armor with troll leather. It's relatively lightweight and a good start armor. Arrows can be easily made using only wood. Number 7. There are all kinds of houses pre-built and just abandoned. Especially in the black forest, just colonize one of them, like these stone towers. Close them off with some wood panels and make a fence around them. From there you can build whatever you like, but it's a fast and safe spot. Number 6. Cold will give you negative effects, like health regen minus 50% and stamina regen minus 25%. So make sure to sleep throughout the night if you can. And if you go out exploring, apply the same colonizing technique with abandoned houses. Or make sure to bring enough wood and some stone to make a basic house and a fire to sleep. Number 5. The same way wet effect also gives negative effects. This time health regen minus 25% and stamina regen minus 15%. So keep that in mind when you jump into water or go exploring when it's raining. If you cannot avoid it though, you can always make a fire and it will disappear in like 5 seconds. Number 4. Without spoiling too much, once you've acquired resources you can find in the caves, you can start to build portals. These are essential to exploring far away lands, as they will give you the ability to retreat and gear up again. It's also very handy not having to walk all the way to your house. Number 3. There are 5 types of wood. If you include the new Yggdrasil wood from the Mistlands, and you cannot build everything with one type, so it's not a glitch. You just don't have the right wood type in your inventory. 
core wood cannot be used to make workbenches, the same way log cabins cannot be made by regular wood. Each biome gives access to different types of wood, but there can also be multiple types of wood in one biome. Number 2. Make use of the hoe and later up the pickaxe to shape the world around you or just flatten the area. Best way to flatten is to stand still and click around you that way, instead of walking around. The hoe will make everything flat, but only knows what the desired height should be from where you are standing. Using the hoe, you can use the alternate mode to raise the ground using stone. Trolls and other mobs cannot destroy this, so it's the strongest method there is. Alternatively, you can dig a canal or a trench around your wooden or stone walls, which will create the same effect as the mobs will be too low to hit your walls. Although trolls will sometimes simply walk over these, so make sure these are deep and wide enough. Number 1. Every building except walls will be destroyed over time, by the rain. Everything but buildings that have a roof attached to them. So make sure that everything you value has a roof. And no, the flat floors don't count as a roof. It's best to store even the resources under a roof. And if you're using workbenches as a counter for mobs to spawn, make sure they don't get destroyed over time by also making a roof over those. Workbenches also require a roof for it to activate and repair or make stuff with it. If you place one near a tree and just two pieces over it, you got yourself an easy and efficient way of dealing with two problems all at once. Make sure to subscribe for more straight to the point gaming guides. I will upload more Valheim content in the coming weeks too, so let me know what you want to see.